Welcome everyone to another video. Today we're going to react to the Miss Marvel trailer, the first trailer that has released. Um, it came out on Tuesday. I'm a bit late to this. Fashionably late though, because not only do I have a trailer reaction for you, but I also have a breakdown video for you so fashionably late. Um, as you can see down here, this is number one on trending. Marvel Studios Miss Marvel official trailer, Disney Plus. I don't... My God, has 11 million views. I don't know what this is going to be about at all. But um, I heard a rumor, but this was like two years ago when this show was first announced. I heard a rumor that it was going to be like about like, um, about like Monica Rambo. Lieutenant Trouble from Captain Marvel, like, becoming a superpower, using her superpowers that she gained, um, in, um, WandaVision. I don't think that's gonna be what it's about, but that's all I know about it, and I don't even know if that's true or not. So, we're gonna be jumping into this, so, if you're excited for this video, no, no, it's not yet. If you're excited for this video, give a thumbs up, and you're here, make sure to subscribe, and turn on notifications, never miss a video. I don't know if this is supposed to be a teaser trailer or an official trailer. I'm pretty sure it's a um, trailer because it says trailer, but I don't know if it's, maybe it's a teaser trailer because it's only a minute and 47 seconds long. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You were weirdo. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Got tomorrow, fan. Kamala. Hey. Already? Really? Come on, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch, or is like... Maybe they right. I spend too much time... in fantasy land. That is not to you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's the fantasy, too. Did something happen to you? You know why? Did you hear something? Come on up. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you Isn't know her? what you are? Miss Marvel, Virgin Series from June 8th, Disney Plus. Okay, so it's a TV show. I thought it was a, um, I thought it was a movie. Okay, that's, um, that's cool. Well, um, another TV show with the Kenobi series as well. But here we go. Now we're reacting to a video from Near Dish. Nearish, uh, near ish or near dish, t whatever you want to say. Um, this is him breaking down the whole trailer. This is the shortest one I could find. All the other ones were like 20 minutes long. So, um, here we go. Let's jump into it. I'll leave this video, I'll leave these two videos and this guy's channel like down below the description. Let's jump into it. Here's everything you might have missed in the first Ms. Marvel trailer. Hello and happy Marvel Trailer Day, friends! Didn't we just have one? The first trailer for Disney Plus's upcoming Ms. Marvel series dropped today, and it gave us all our first look at Kamala Khan as played by Iman Vellani. Kamala is a 16-year-old Muslim Pakistani-American in Jersey City who idolizes Carol Danvers, and who wouldn't really, and who finds her dreams coming true when she gets herself some superpowers. But fans of the comics will notice her powers in the trailer look a bit different than they do on the page. On today's episode of Nerdist News, we're breaking down the trailer, picking up any Easter eggs you may have missed, and giving you a history of the characters' powers and how they seem to differ in the series. 
Before we do though, a lot of this will just be theories on our part. We're going to throw up the obligatory spoiler warning. So if you'd like to go into the series, which premieres on June 8, blissfully unaware, make like Dan Casey and go on your honeymoon. Hey, already? Really? Come on. Are we ready to go? Then let's get into it. The entire trailer is set to the melodic tones of the weekend's blinding lights, which we'd love to be able to play, but we absolutely cannot. But it's a great song. Right from the beginning, we can see Ms. Marvel blends... I'm probably going to get copyrighted for that song in this. I don't know. Hopefully I can convince YouTube to non-copyright me, but if not... Comic book aesthetics with real-life situations. This is not unlike what they did for the Oscar-winning Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, except, you know, live action. We see Kamala Khan, played by Iman Vellani, trying to make her way in a high school setting. Like a lot of kids who grew up during the Age of Ultron, Kamala is a big fan of the Avengers. In the comics, she's a superhero superfan and fanfic writer. It looks like here she does the same thing and is maybe a cartoonist, too. We see a fun shot of her notebook where she's drawn Ant-Man vs. Man-Ant. That should clearly be the next movie. Whoa! Scotty? This continues the trend in the Marvel Disney Plus series, all of which have introduced some kind of young Avenger, having been inspired in some way by the world's greatest heroes. Most recently, that was Kate Bishop, who grew up idolizing Hawkeye, and then, lo and behold, got to team up with him. Throughout the trailer, we see various costumes and daydreams where Kamala sees herself as Captain Marvel. Imagine if she knew what we know, which is that she'll be in a movie with Captain Marvel in 2023. On her t-shirt, which she apparently wears many of, we see cartoonified versions of Captain Marvel, the Wasp, and Valkyrie. She very likely made these shirts herself, given her passion and artistic acumen. That does pose the question of how she even knows about these heroes. We have to imagine they did a press tour or something after the events of Endgame. Otherwise, how would anyone know about them? Okay, so this On our counselor's desk, we see a plaque with the letters GWW. Endgame. This is a nod to G. Willow Wilson, the comic book writer who created the character of Kamala Khan in the relaunch of Ms. Marvel along with Sana Aminat in 2013. We see Kamala with a few other of her stable of supporting characters. Her best friend Bruno Carilli, played by Matt Lintz. Her friend Nakia, played by Yasmeen Fletcher. Classic mean girl Zoe Zimmer, played by Lori Marsden. The cute boy Cameron, played by Rish Shah, whom Kamala instantly crushes on. And her family, Mother Muniba, played by Zenobia Shroff. Her father Yusuf, played by Mohan Kapoor. And her older brother Amir, played by Sagar Shaikh. Kamala will have to balance her schoolwork and family obligations with her desire to be a superhero, which would be a lot easier if she didn't actually become a superhero. Like so many Peters Parker, with great power will indeed come great responsibility. I'll figure it out. Stop lecturing me, please. And here's where the trailer lets us know exactly where and how the TV version of Kamala Khan will differ from her comic book counterpart. In the comics, Kamala got her powers through pterogenesis. This process happens when pterogen crystals are exposed to water and release pterogen mist. The mist brings out humans' latent inhuman gene and gives them superpowers. The process of pterogenesis gives Kamala the powers of morphogenetics, wherein she can manipulate the molecules in her body to change size, shape, density, and appearance at will. Technically, she can also send her molecules through time to other future or earlier versions of herself, too, which is pretty awesome. So in the comics, Kamala gets her powers from inhuman stuff. We knew from the beginning that the inhumans references would not be present in the series because the short-lived inhuman show was very bad. And we and see in the teaser a good indicator of how this will change. Kamala puts on a pair of bracelets or gauntlets, which seem to give her some kind of cosmic abilities. These are most likely the quantum bands, unique energy-manipulating devices of incredible power that the cosmic being Eon awarded to those beings that it appointed to be the protectors of the universe. These bands are believed to be the prototype for the Nega bands, which were powerful relics from the Kree Empire with ties to Marvel and other such cosmic heroes. Changing her origins to give her quantum bands instead of inhuman gas issues is a really fascinating wrinkle, which we think will tie her directly in with two of her most beloved heroes. First, we see she has some kind of connection to cosmic energy, not unlike what we see when Carol Danvers uses her powers. So while Kamala's signature comic book okay, look so finds her elongated with enormous coffee. fists, she can now make said fists out um, of energy using the bands. Captain. The word quantum, along with her drifting into some kind of mirror or alternate universe, seems to draw comparisons with the quantum realm, which of course we'll see in the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Oh my god, there's so m I I kind of forgot about how much stuff there was. Like, uh, I remember back in like 2020, a bunch of new um MCU stuff got announced. Kind of forgot about it, but yeah, there is like 
Moon Knight's coming out. I might do a reaction to that trailer too. Um, for movies, we got Guardians of the Galaxy, the holiday special, Doctor Strange and Watch for Some Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder. So we got a bunch of stuff. In the comics, the quantum bands get their power from the quantum zone, a realm of potential energy from which all energy in the Marvel Universe derives. But above and beyond the practical uses and ties to some of the other established Marvel themes and heroes, the idea seems to be that Kamala was in some way chosen to be a protector of the universe. Whether she happens upon the bands, as it seems she does in a box marked Milk Toffees, or if they are directly given to her, you can't accidentally become a protector of the universe. It's sort of like the Green Lantern Corps in DC Comics. Only the pure of heart and brave of spirit can be one. So that's pretty cool. She wasn't just gassed and mutated, she's a legit through and through hero. We also briefly see some people in a mist, a nod to the Terrigen mist, surely, and it's very possible these could be other protectors of the universe, or somehow connected to the bands. Cool. Well, I mean, they could just be bad guys, we don't know. We also see several shots from the trailer that are straight out of the first five issues of the Ms. Marvel comic. Specifically, we see Kamala and her friends in the convenience store where Bruno works, her sneaking out to a party, the specific tree outside her window, and even her and her furry hat, which are all from issue number one. The trailer even recreates Jamie McKelvey's iconic cover from issue number five of Kamala in full costume sitting atop a street lamp looking across the river to New York City, the pastime of everyone from that part of New Jersey. The trailer also indicates we'll see Kamala's newfound super abilities making life a lot harder for her loved ones. Cool. And there are some live. pretty ominous shots Ryan of various government Parker. agent types Bandy getting out of black City. SUVs, which are almost categorically not a good thing. As Kamala Khan is the first Muslim superhero to headline a Marvel comic book series and the very first in the MCU, her heritage and faith and what it means to be, as she says, a brown girl from Jersey will play a huge part in the six-episode run. But like the comics, it looks like the show will balance the fun and exuberance of her character with her desire to do some actual good for the world. We can't wait to see Kamala Khan punch evil with her giant energy fists when Ms. Marvel premieres on Disney Plus on June 8th. In the meantime, tell us, what do you think of the Ms. Marvel trailer? Are you happy with the change in her comic book origins? Let us know in the comments below. Huge shout out to Nerdist's human Marvel encyclopedia, Rosie Knight, for her help on this one, and for more of her writing, and for more of all of us. Keep it glued to Nerdist.com. Okay, so that didn't have like a load of stuff. But that that was a cool video, so um thank you to the nerdist. Um yeah, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm probably gonna do reactions to the Moon Knight trailer right after this, whatever one I include first will depend, but if you're seeing this in the video, then I'll probably post this one first. But uh there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll subscribe to our applications and I will see you in my next video. Peace.